DFW's population growth. How will it affect the market as a whole? Uh, maybe you're not familiar with the area or maybe you're someone who is or maybe someone moving to the area. Well, the population growth is growing rapidly. I'm gonna go over a chart I found the other day, and then I'm going to touch over some stats on how population growth will affect pricing, possibly. Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly. My name's Trevon. I work with Century 21 Mike Bowman, and yeah, I'm a real estate agent in the area. Let's get right into it. DFW's long established and consistent population growth defines the region and drives all property types. The DFW region is well known for many things. One of them is growth. DFW's population growth has remained steady and is among the strongest in the US. For the Metroplex, population gains have been consistent over time, regardless of economic slowdowns. In the 70s, DFW's population stood at a mere 2.4 million. This is more than double to 5.2 million by 2000, despite three national recessions and the dot-com bubble burst and telecoms crash in the early 2000s. The, that translated into 2.6 annual growth for over 30 years. In the last cycle, DFW continued to expand. Today, the Census and the region's Council of Governments esti estimate that DFW's population stands at 8.3 million. That means that DFW added 1.9 million people since 2010 a 30% increase, that is 385 people per day. While births are part of this, the biggest diver is the migration, which translate into increased economic activity and demand for commercial real estate. They go on to say the published forecast is for that population to hit 9.3 million by 2030. We can debate the future, we can debate the future number, but the main point is that growth is in DFW's DNA, which has continued to perform despite past economic shifts. This is due to DFW's resilience and extremely diverse economy. For the region, our recent growth has supported our economic stability and is the main driver for all pop for all property types, especially single and multifamily housing, industrial and retail as well as office, even as that use undergoes a unique sector shift nationally. Driven by the economic engine like the past, D DFW's outlook appears to be brighter than most other major markets. So I say that, and then I kind of want to get into the stats where we're starting to see a shift as far as our market. And I think that it's going to be the stabilization period for us to then walk into an area where we're going to have much more activity, I believe, as a whole. And I don't think we're in a bubble situation. So let's close this. All right, so my first chart up, it's September closed sales. That's blue is gonna be Denton, orange, red is going to be Tarrant County, Collin County is gonna be green, and Dallas will be this darker gray. So you're seeing closed sales slowly tinker down, right? And then we hit 2023 and 2024, you are starting to see them increase, which is what you want to see. And I think this is going to be based on interest rates, but I don't think the full effect has hit the market yet. And as you see where we're at now, will we continue to tinker up? That's going to be the interesting thing because typically the market slows down at this time. All right, next slide is going to be the average days on market. So back in 2022, your average days on market, you know, uh, was pretty quick, you know, under 35 days across the board. 2023, we had a jump. Interest rates, they did jump drastically, though. Had a lot of people afraid to hop into the market. So uh, especially in Denton, days on market skyrocketed. Now, where we're at this September, days on market is gone up even more. But Big butt, it's due to inventory. You see in 2022, inventory very low. 2023, it is starting to slowly tinker up. Now inventory, I mean, in some cases, 37%, 28%, 42%, 40% higher, right? And this, if I go back to my other slide, yeah, back to days on market. So inventory is almost, you know, inventory has gone up 30, 40% days on market has also gone up, you know, considerable amount, not that 
you know, not 40% across the board, but it has gone up. So I think that is the main culprit as far as days on market. I think it's just due to inventory. So maybe if you are someone selling, your home's been sitting 30 days. Well, you got to understand that the average days on market has gone up quite a bit. Inventory has gone up 30, 40% in most cases across the board. So in a way, when you are selling your home, you want to be the best home available at the right price. Of course, pricing is always going to be it. But if you don't have your marketing spot on, your photos spot on, and you're still not trying to get eyes on the home, it's going to be tough for you to sell. So this is just a key indication on where we're at as a market. It's going to slow down for a bit for a couple months. I do feel that it'll pick up after the election. And, and then, of course, I think DFW is going to be exciting in the future. We, we saw the growth that is expecting to come to the area. We are already seeing that on the commercial scale with how many companies are coming to the area. So, I mean, truly, it is, it is, very, it is a very exciting time to be in the real estate market in DFW. And I don't, do, I don't just say that as a real estate agent. It's just opportunity for those who maybe have owned their home for a while. It's a good time to maybe branch off or maybe someone who's like, man, should I buy in the DFW Metroplex? Well, these statistics are gonna show you that if you're trying to save a little bit of money in the long run, it will benefit you if you maybe look now or see what you need to do to look now because the future is showing you that growth is coming population is coming and as we continue to have more inventory that will create better opportunities for the buyers now the moment that this flips as in inventory drops demand gets higher competition will come back to the market and i don't think it will be back to 2022 where everything's going 30 to 40 over asking you know no concessions for the seller i just think that certain homes will continue to have competition It'll be less seller concessions as far as what they're willing to give, and more people will probably be at the asking price than they already are. Now, of course, in some areas, your South Lakes, your you know Frisco's, you know your Collin counties, if you're in a great location with a beautiful home upgrades and you know great photos and it's got a lot of attention, you're still going to get a nice offer in most cases. But if there's a lot of competition in your area, people have more choices than they ever had, and you got to think about that as well as the buyer. You have more choices than you ever had in the DFW Metroplex, great time to find deals, great time to own assets. Okay, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. Again, my name is Trevon. I work with Century 21, Mike Bowman, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, later. Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly.